disarm. Mode, arm, disarm all devices. Here we go. Okay. Today we are going to talk about an ultra wide. Always. Put your brillo. So a couple of years ago when I started my YouTube channel, the first monitor that I bought was a 4K regular screen that was, I think, 32 inches. That was insanely huge for me because I remember when I was a kid, or a kid, like a teenager, you know, 15 years old, and had my first flat screen TV. That was like a 37 inch TV that I thought was really big. So having like a 32 inch computer monitor that was sick. And I think that screen that I had was an Acer 4K IPS panel. It was a really good screen, no issues with it at all. But I always felt that it wasn't like big enough, it wasn't wide enough, and it didn't feel like it was a perfect fit for the kind of work that I do. And that is why a little bit over a year ago, I decided to upgrade to my ultra wide monitor that I have here in the studio right now, which is a Dell Ultra Sharp. 38 inch monitor. I found 38 inch monitor is a kind of like sweet spot for me when it comes to having enough screen real estate and also like not having a bigger screen at my desk. But when I was designing this desk set setup, I actually went for the 34 inch monitor. And when I'm sitting here in the office editing on 38 inch monitor, I do think that this is a very good setup as well. So I wouldn't say that the difference is huge. You're not gonna be noticing it that much. 34 inch is, in my opinion, gonna be just as good as a 38 inch. I decided to go for the Dell one because it had a lot of great reviews when I read up on it online. And since it has an IPS panel, it also has a great color accuracy. My first thought was that 38 inch would feel way too big and it's not something that I will get used to working on and it's way too much screen real estate for me for what I do. But the more that I've worked with it, the more that I feel that I'm actually utilizing all the space on the screen whenever I'm working with it because it allows you to have multiple windows open at the same time. For example, when you do accounting, then you can have two separate pages open. And then when you're doing your uh, editing, then you can have like Final Cut Pro and Artlist open at the same time. So you can like switch easily between finding the music and edit your videos. Being able to have it like this with Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro on this side and then Artlist library on this side so that you can scroll through both the SFX that you need and also the music is golden. And since Artlist has such an insane amount of good music, it's gonna be easy for you to find the right song whenever you're editing. And I also wanna say a huge thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video. And Artlist and Artgrid is is currently giving away five free creator packs with over 250 assets that you can use as a creator. It's sound effects, VFX, motion design, overlays and LUTs and a bunch of different other stuff. So I'm gonna drop a link down below so you can go there, sign up and download all the assets so that you can use them in your future videos and also get access to one of the best music libraries and sound effects libraries on the entire internet. So being able to find the right songs and the right sound effects on the same place and have a split screen like this where you can switch between the apps seamlessly is gonna speed up your whole process a lot. And when it comes to resolution, that is where I think it could have been a little bit better because this is a 3840 times 1600. It would have been better if it was a little bit high resolution, especially since it's a 38 inch screen, but it doesn't make that big of a difference since you're sitting like one meter away from the screen. So you're not seeing like the pixels of it or anything like that but it would be good to have a little bit more screen real estate like crammed into those 38 inches. It does have a couple of ports in the back that I think is very good. USB-C especially because being able to both charge your computer and send your display through USB-C is one thing that I'm a huge fan of but it's actually been a little bit unreliable so when you plug it in it's not always detecting the computer that is plugged in and sometimes it's actually like jumping back and forth seems like it's kind of like losing connection but what i've found to be the best is when you're using the display port in and then have that connected into a hub which is my bridgestone pro and then from the bridgestone connected the usb-c and for me it's one of those solutions that I need to have anyways, because I need to have all the extra ports that you get from the Bridgestone Pro. But if you're not using a USB hub, then that might be an issue for you. Or I've just gotten like a Monday X here in the studio. 
that is a little bit on the bad side, man. And when it comes to editing videos, that is where I think that this monitor really shines through because you have this really, really wide field of view when you're editing your video so you can see the entire timeline and you don't have to zoom in to like insane proportions when you're editing. And since it's also a curved screen, it also gives you a more immersive experience when you're sitting down and editing. And I've actually found the curved screen to be a lot more easier to use. Having that slight angle towards you feels better than just having a flat monitor, especially when you're doing like video editing. And as I said in the beginning, it has a very good color accuracy. And whenever I'm doing my color grading, I'm doing it on this screen. And I found this screen to actually be very like true to what you see on different kind of monitors because when I'm editing on this monitor, it usually looks good on all the different monitors that I try out my footage on. But if I'm editing on the MacBook Pro monitor, then some monitors can usually play it back. So it's a little bit too dark and a little bit too, I don't know, it looks different from when I'm editing on this monitor. And I haven't calibrated it or anything like that. It is just straight from the factory and it looks good as is. And that is for me what I think is the best when it comes to like buying tech and you just want to get started using it. But I also understand that if you're working as like a pro color grader, then you need to calibrate your monitors. But if you're a content creator like me and you're looking for a really good curved screen, then this is something that I think is very good. And it's also something that I feel is essential for my current workflow now that I'm using it on a daily basis. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you feel it was uh, helpful for you. If you felt that, do give it a thumbs up because that would be highly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, that'd be awesome as well. I would love to see you in the next video. And uh, if you're into vlogs and that kind of stuff, then I have a separate channel for that. So you can go and check that out. It's not gonna be as tech related or camera related as this channel, but if you wanna check it out, head over there because it's more like personal Peter Lindgren stuff than it's going to be on this channel. But yeah, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next video. Take care. Peter from Sweden, out.